is really nice over here. Lake, what is it? Lake, I can't remember what the name of the road is. It's French, it's spelled Lake L-A-C, Lake something road. And it's a lot quieter over here. Everybody's going up to Copper Harbor, so I have the road to myself. There's some houses, some, uh, summer, it looks like summer homes up over here, or seasonal anyway. A couple of resorts, but just past Lake Is uh, Point Isabel. It's beautiful, quiet, remote. time I was going to free campsites.net I was looking at um, what else was that you know looking for national forests and state forests and things like that now I mostly just look at Google Earth I map out my route kind of where I want to go and I look at Google Earth at least up here in the in the Upper Peninsula and see if I can find roads or openings that might be good camping and I ended up here on this road near Gay, I don't know what it is. At the beginning, there was a little bit of private property. It dead ended, which I didn't expect. My cell signal is in and out, so I can't always look at Google Earth when I don't have a cell signal. But uh, there's like tons of Lake Superior beach access out here. And there's nothing and nobody out here. There's a group up here, four or five cars on the beach. It's crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, how can there be nobody out here? Everybody's up at Copper Harbor. because I think it was from a non-American point of view and uh, said that, what is it? Like there's no shortage of no trespassing signs. Like people aren't afraid to post signs here. I can't remember what it was. But, uh, and that's very true that any, I, I've seen tons of don't, no trespassing pri private property in the national forest. I mean, they don't want people on their property so they're really good about posting it out oh, here. No, no trespassing sign. I'm probably good. It, I'm, it's probably a safe bet that it's public land because everybody really does a good job of posting their their signs for their property. So, yeah. The Mohawk Stamp Mill was built by the Mohawk Mining Company in 1898 until it closed in 1932. See that? Nature is saying, I want it back. It's mine. You intruded long enough. Go ahead, you can do it, jump! <laughs> You're such a good girl. Somebody's toilet. Wow. 
the Mohawk Mill crushed thousands and thousands of tons of rock from the Mohawk mine to separate the copper from the waste rock. Stamp mills of the Kiwana Peninsula use an enormous amount of water, so that's why they're usually on a lakeside, to separate the metal from the waste rock. And the waste rock, you can see, and I'm going to show you here in a minute, has been dumped all around the shores of the lake in this area. And so, of course, they pulled the, ro the water that they needed for this process directly from Lake Superior, and then they finally crushed the waste rock and then dumped it back into the lake. But it dramatically altered the lake shore over the years that the mill operated, and you can still see it today. The shoreline from the mill south for a couple of miles is still a stamp sand beach, a hundred yards or so wow. wide. I ended up camping on that. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Wait. Wait. Good girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> Somebody's silly. The first school was built in Gay in 1902 to meet the needs of the families working at the mills, but it was soon over overcrowded and a new six-room, two-story building was built in 1927. It was open for grades 1 through 10 and became the center of community life until the mills closed in 1932. By 1959, only 25 students attended the school and it was closed in 1961. The town of Gay in Michigan was initially a company-owned town, and it never got to be very big. Maybe several hundred people lived here. Only about 60 people live here now. So that has a totally different meaning in San Francisco. Gay bar. <laughs> and I, from afar, I thought it said gay much. <laughs> gay much? But it's gay Michigan. Uh, I wonder how many people go in there expecting a gay bar. The town is named after Joseph E. Gay, one of the founders of the Mohawk and Wolverine Mining Companies. It's often noted on lists of unusual place names. But there's a huge 4th of July celebration here every year. The Gay Parade, as it's referred to locally, attracts several times the, time, the town's population here every 4th of July. So I saw a spot that I thought I could pull into, but it, it's got a bank from plowing the road. So here's a spot. I'm not going to drive in the sand. I really don't feel like getting stuck. Look at this. But I can still... Oh, I can barely see them. I think I will. I think I'll back in and stay here. Hang on, can I drive over there? Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I mean, jackpot. No, no trespassing sign. I'm probably good. It, I'm, it's probably a safe bet that it's public land because everybody really does a good job of posting their, their signs for their property. So, yeah. I dared to drive on this. I could camp. I think I could just camp along the shore, but I don't dare to drive on it. I don't feel like getting stuck. <clears throat> yeah, see, some of it's packed. Can you believe this spot? Look at this. Look at this. What a find. <laughs> I'm telling you, you work a little harder and you can find some amazing spots. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. I just don't want to get stuck. I could stay here, but it's not very pretty. And it, I can see them. Well, I can't because of this big pile of... What is it? Sand and stuff. But, um, sand and rock. 
and I can smell their campfire, which always is noxious to me. So I'm going to go down to the road to that other spot that I looked at. And I didn't take it because it's got a lot of tree cover. I'm not going to get any more solar for the day. But I don't think I need it. It's like 4.30. I'm full. So um, I haven't been full like this in days. Not to the point of floating. So it's public beach access. I'm not seeing anything that says no camping. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any any signs whatsoever. This is like a dead area. It looks like it all used to probably be the town of Gay before, you know, it started falling into almost ghost town status. You know, people do live here. It's not even close to ghost town status. But uh, from the, what I read up there at the school, there's just a few houses left. The post office, there's not even a post office here, I don't think. So this is, you know, it's an old industrial mining area. I don't know. I'm I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'm, I don't know what any of this means. But it sure is pretty. And this part of Lake Superior, so I was trying to play with Sadie. I threw the ball in. She wouldn't go in. She's a smart girl. I'm telling you. And I didn't know. I just threw the ball in. Every part of Lake Superior we've been in so far has been really warm. Like I go into my knees and it feels really good. This is ice cold. I met a local recently who said, yeah, it's too cold to swim in. And I'm like, really? The parts that I've seen haven't really, that, I, that I've been to haven't been that cold. And he said, of course, in the, in the bays and stuff like that, it's going to warm up a little bit. This is the coldest of Lake Superior I have experienced. And uh, yeah, poor little Sadie. I threw her ball in and she's like, mm -mm, I'm not going in that. <laughs> so we lost her ball. And then we started playing with sticks. So I just didn't throw them in far enough. And plus it drops off. But that doesn't usually bother her. I think it was the cold. But uh, she's a smart girl. I'm telling you. She's a smart girl. Yeah. So I think I'm going to move down the road. Let's check it out. No sun, but that's okay. I think I'm good. I spent 10 minutes trying to get level in this spot and I couldn't get level and I said, you know what, I don't want to stay here anyway. So I moved to another spot, didn't want to stay there either, came back, pulled in, and I got level right away. RV life lesson, sometimes you have to walk away from a problem in order to solve it. this out. see the texture on it the these little designs they're just little holes little knot holes they almost look like paws paw prints <laughs> wow very cool one. Well, this ended up being an awesome place to spend the night. 
and the people who were down the way from me who i wasn't sure i didn't see tents last night so i was like you know i don't know if people camp down here or not but they spent the night they're all in tents so people spend the night down here i mean my spot looks like a camping spot except that it doesn't have a fire ring but uh beautiful place to spend the night i mean i got to woke up wake up on the shores of lake superior look at this this is my morning out here playing fetch with sadie look at her she's like mom throw the ball want me throw it want me kick it watch <coughs> want me kick it <coughs> you want me kick it? yeah want me kick it <laughs> want me kick it Want me to kick it started with uh, the basketball. And I say that and she barks. Look at her. She's, I, I think her feet have grown to be webbed. Look at her. She's gotten faster. Look at that. You're such a good girl. So this one shocked her. There's a heck of a drop off. So we were, let me show you. So that's Lake Superior right behind me. These are just little ponds, puddles that, I mean, like you see at the ocean. And so this is a lot warmer than Lake Superior and Lake Superior is calmer today than it was yesterday, but she won't go in. If I, I lost a ball yesterday because I threw it, not realizing how cold it was and she wouldn't go get it. Smart dog, these dogs, you know, a lot of people, you know, oh, she's going to jump in the rapids. Oh, she's going to this. She's, you know, she's got good instincts. She's got really, really good instincts. And so this ball we threw in yesterday, she wouldn't go get it. It washed up on the shore this morning. And, uh, but I came over here this morning to see if she would swim. And it's a lot warmer. I put my feet in before I threw the ball. And she goes in, she swims. She will not swim in Lake Superior. To, in this part of Lake Superior, it's just too, too uh, cold. <laughs> I mean... Dogs have survived this long <laughs> for a reason. They've got good instincts too. So, yeah. Now she's... You want to play? You want to play? Go get the ball. Go get it. Where is it? <laughs> Did you see that leap? Good girl. Bring it. You got to bring it closer. Get the ball. Want me kick it? No. Want me kick it? No. You want me kick it? No. Yeah? No. Is that a yes? Is this your favorite game? Good girl. Still working on her bringing it to me. She she brings it close to me, but I want her to get her to bring it to me. Want to do it again? Go get it. Look at this drop off. The first time it totally shocked her. <laughs> I mean, it drops off quick. Now she's used to it. Now she prepares for it. Look at this girl. She's the dog of my dreams. <laughs> yes, what a good girl. She got it. Anyway, beautiful place to spend the night. The campers down there are waking up. I see when I first got up, I only saw the tents. I didn't see the cars. And I'm like, please don't tell me they're those people who just set up their stuff and leave it behind. Uh, some people leave it behind forever. I, twice now in two different camps I've been in, in Upper Peninsula, there've been tents in the woods just left there. No, one was in Wisconsin. So the only thing, there was a little bit of traffic on the road pretty late last night, probably 11 midnight. I did hear fireworks down the way, but nobody bothered me. You know, I'm in a great spot. I'm glad I didn't stay at the spot up here by the gravel piles. That was just too out in the open for me, and it was a big in to the beach access area. So my fear was that if I stayed there, I would have had traffic if, if people do come out here at night been doing this a while now my fear was that traffic would come in and around me and go past me and behind me so I didn't want to stay there I don't like anything too far out in the open that looks like an access point so I came down here and I woke up this morning and I was like you know what I'm gonna stay if I put my my signal booster up I should have enough internet to to do this you know mess just whatever I want to do not upload a video but I was like you know I'll just stay here today and uh, work on my Sunday video and then travel tomorrow, but I'm in the trees. I don't have enough solar, so I'm gonna have to move. <laughs> Where's your ball? I see it, it's over there. 
So awesome near gay Michigan. Nobody, this is crazy. Off the beaten path, I'm telling you, you know? And sometimes it means taking risks. Like I've said in the videos about how to find good camping. If you're risk averse, you probably wouldn't do things like this because you're not sure. But uh, the fact that one of the tips I'm going to give you is, you know, there's no private property. I mean, there is private property, but it's not. There's a house that's half built just down the road. It looks actually like it's abandoned to me. Not a, no recent activity. The driveway doesn't look like it's been driven on recently. There are some other roads that lead to gates that say private property, but it doesn't look like anybody lives out here. It doesn't even look like anybody comes out here. I don't know, maybe for hunting. So that's the other tip. You know, if you are not sure, you see a spot, it looks amazing. You're like, can I, is this public land? I don't know. Can I get away with spending the night here? As long as there aren't residents driving by who can see you or residents nearby that are going to see you where you're camped, you're probably going to be good. Um, I, this is pro I'm, I'm imagining this is probably like county or township property, old township property from when it was a booming town and uh, just kind of abandoned, you know, and you're going to find a lot of those things. You're going to find county projects along or county property along the way that used to be like old staging areas for highway maintenance. I can't tell you how many of those I've stayed at, especially uh, British Columbia, actually, and Alaska. So, and especially if you're just going to stay a night, you know, if you're just going to stay a night, you can get away with a lot of stuff or um, I don't know. I feel like I could stay here longer. I feel like this is a, an unpublished locals know about it camping area. It's awesome. It's really nice. Where is my coffee, by the way? It's all the way over there. I left it over there. I tried the local coffee this morning that I bought at the general store yesterday. It's not very good, really. But it's not horrible. Where's your ball? So there's my rig over there, somewhere. See, and these are like little, I don't know, there's probably a name for them. What are they called? <clears throat> my puddles <laughs> that haven't dried up. And then the lake, there's uh, boats out there. Really does remind me of the ocean, except here you can actually see so I'm going to be curving around. Where are we? I'm going to be curving around. I'm going to be following the road that hugs over there. There's a city park over there I might check out. Since I can't stay here because I'm not going to have enough solar, uh, I'm going to head that way. See what I find. Never know what you're going to find. what the heck I'm gonna stay another day I'll pull out my generator if I need more power this is too beautiful to leave <laughs> What the actual hell? You're kidding me, right? Yep, I was having such a lovely day and decided to even stick around a little while longer oh when that happened. <laughs> and just a reminder, I showed you that entire fiasco in real time. So if you want to see that video, look over here and I will put a link to the video. If you're on a device that doesn't show recommended oh videos, I will put a link to the video about what happened in the video description and also a posted comment. 
a uh, pin comment. What is going on with these tires? So yeah, this is the beautiful spot where that entire, where the whole tire thing came to a head and where I finally ended up going into town and getting it all fixed once and for all. So go back and check out that video if you don't know what happened. And thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the time in Gay, Michigan as much as I did. More to come. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.